happy Friday to you. Today is February 14th, Valentine's Day, and these are the Friday Funnies. Coming to you live from Sochi, Russia, is, is nothing, really, because we're watching it all on about a nine-hour delay. And for me, this screws things up worse than daylight savings time, to the point where I don't know what time it is, but I do know I have Olympic fever. And I don't think I'm the only one. I think a lot of fans over there have Olympic fever or some kind of fever, whatever it is, that's, that's causing them not to show up at the events. From what I've seen, there are plenty of good seats available, which is more than can be said for hotel rooms. My favorite competition in the Olympics is the doubles luge, because it makes no sense to me at all. I mean, the biathlon, that evolved out of skiing and hunting. And figure skating, that started with the invention of spandex. But how did the two-man luge ever start? My guess is two guys drunk at the top of the hill, needed to get to the bottom of the hill in a hurry, only had one sled. Curling is the other event I like to watch because it looks like something I could do. You know, with a little training and enough beer, I can operate a broom with the best of them. Back home here, we've got more snow than they have in sushi, but the only games being played here are extreme driveway shoveling and the two-man car push. Well, there are no medals for the participants in this week's Friday Funnies, just a pat on the back and some open mockery. The Sunshine State has once again given us an idiot on the loose. This time it happened in Palm Beach, Florida. Down there, Conrad Hopper, 17 years old, was walking along the street this week completely naked, except for his large clock. Yes, you heard that correctly. The man wore nothing more than a, than a big timepiece and a smile. He was chased by police and eventually brought down by a stun gun, which made time stand still. Conrad is currently in jail and Flavor Flav is suing him for copyright infringement. Stephen Steele is a teenager from Ipswich, Queensland in Australia. And this week he robbed a gas station with a chainsaw. He entered the store with a running chainsaw and to conceal his identity, since he left his mask at home, he put a big flower pot over his head. Now he couldn't see anything with a big flower pot on his head, so Stephen just swung the chainsaw around, then he flashed his buttocks and before he left, he stole a single bottle of soda. He was caught by police a short time later and told that if he ever did anything like that again, he'd be sent to Florida. Well, I haven't forgotten that today is Valentine's Day and I am ready for it, boy. I've got a, a store-bought card and I made dinner reservations about a month ago. But if you have been a little negligent in your Valentine's Day preparations, don't worry, there is still hope. A McDonald's restaurant in Tampa, Florida. Yes, Florida again. A McDonald's restaurant down there is offering reservations for a Valentine's Day dinner. Now the menu is going to stay the same, but they'll have flowers and candles on the table and a waiter to take your order. Now what could be a better romantic setting than this? A box of chicken McNuggets, a large fries, and thou. It's perfect. If you're 10 years old, but if you're an adult contemplating Big, Rack, Big Mac romance, do everybody a favor, stay home in the trailer, huh? And order some takeout. That's all I have for you this week, my friends. A happy Valentine's Day to you, and also a happy President's Day on Monday. Do something patriotic, buy a mattress.